Okay, so I'm here with Cali Maestro, who just beat Fulu 31 for the opening bottom World Monday 2. Fulu's declining comments, so uh, hopefully Maestro can give us a little more insight in the match. So, uh, so you, you started this matchup as Molina and eventually switched to Raiden, while your opponent played Sub-Zero and eventually switched to Kenshi and then switched back. So uh, can you explain your character choice a little? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm known primarily as a Raiden player. Um, I've done pretty well with Raiden. I uh, had a top 10 finish at a... In a major tournament at Revelations here in Los Angeles uh, a few months ago, um, but I've been uh, since Evo's passed and now over and uh, taking some time out to learn some uh, different characters now. And uh, when the game came out, Molina is actually a character that my wife liked to play. She plays the game with me. She's really good with Molina. Um, so I had I had played her a little bit since the game came out, and I knew uh, I knew what she did. I kind of knew what she was about, but. Um, I hadn't seen how it was all put together, and then after going to Evo and obviously seeing Rio, you know, I knew everything he was doing. I just didn't know how to put it together. Um, so I've been, you know, uh, playing with Molina a lot lately at, uh, at tournaments um, here in Southern California, and I've been doing really well with her so far. And so I wanted to start out with her just to do something a little bit different than you know than what people already know me for. And the uh, you know I had a pretty easy time the first two matches. I don't think that. Uh, Fulu knows the Molina matchup too well. Um, so, you know, apologies to Fulu. Um, I did quote unquote throw the third match so I could switch to Raiden. I do enjoy Raiden. He is my main. Um, I did want to play him on stream for Mortal Monday. And, uh, you know, the theme of Mortal Monday is bring the salt. So, yeah, we kind of, uh, when we were watching, we started to kind of suspect, like, did he throw that match? Like, his. <laughs> but. I did. That's the, uh, that's the theme of Mortal Monday, you know, bring the salt. So, you know, uh, I do apologize for the two day um, but you know, gotta bring the salt, and I uh, just gotta make it fun for the viewers out there. Oh, it's all about the salt. Yep. So uh, you've been featured on the front page of TYM a few times. So uh, could you tell us a little bit about your tourney experience? Right. Um, Storms has been really kind to me and uh, the Test Your Might community, you know, overall. So shout out to Storms and shout out to TestYourMight.com. They've been uh, really, really good to me. Um, I've had quite a bit of success with the tournaments here in um, SoCal. The uh, 2GG tournaments in Long Beach, I've won a few times. The uh, EGP tournament that's uh, been featured on the front page of T1. And, um, I've won it once or twice. And um, I, I have just tons and tons of experience with uh, some of the top, you know, the top tournament players. Um, you know, just last night, I spent about um, two hours um, playing casuals with VVV. Crazy! Um, I spent about an hour last night doing casuals with uh, with um, EGP Tyrant, who is the um, that top jacks player that everybody knows from Evo. Um, so you know, I've, I've got a lot of people to uh, train and play with, um, a lot of top tier players, and you know, my tournament experience. Um, I've had a I've had a lot of luck. Uh, you know, at Revelations, I went really far. Um, got the top ten. Got to play for top eight, but uh, unfortunately, Wonder Chef eliminated me, and um, I finished ninth place Revelations. But uh, throughout Revelations, I picked up some big name wins against opponents um, such as Alex Valle and uh, Zapelli, who was running that tournament. When he called Hallie Meister versus Alex Valle, you know, my heart sunk a little bit. But uh, my wife, uh, she was there, and she was saying, "You can do it, you can do it." And so, um, you know, just read them uh, my rating and uh, did it and deviate from the game plan. And, you know, I was a little nervous. Um, I got through that match and picked up the win and had a pretty good run through Revelations until the uh, very end when I ran into Wonder Chef. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, props out to Wonder Chef on that. All right, so if you haven't seen any of these, then, uh, you know, go back, check some of the, the older updates on TYM. Yep, and uh, also my uh, pretty much every single one of my tournament matches is on my YouTube page, which is a uh, youtube.com slash Cali Maestro MK. Alright, so there you have it. You can just you can kinda of cut out the middleman and just go right there. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so uh, so we've seen a lot of Raidens online, but he's not played very often in the pro scene and like I, I don't mean to uh, put anyone on blast here, but most online Raidens are just well, they're online Raidens. So uh could you give us some advice on like what goes into playing like a good competitive Raiden? Like turning right, away Raiden. Uh, the online Raiden is typically teleport, 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 teleport. Right. You know, back to the, you know, if you're going to um, teleport, jump over with a combo, that's pretty much what you see online. Um, there hasn't been a lot of uh, Raiden making it to the uh, you know, the top, you know, top sixteen, top eight 
um, Jop made it to a top eight at Evo, but he was playing Johnny Cage the whole way through, and I don't think he switched to Raiden until uh, he came across Rio in the top eight. So really, he made it with Johnny Cage, and then um, uh, I finished ninth place at uh, Revelations using Raiden. But there's been a couple others, but not many make it to the uh, top sixteen, top eight at a major setting. But you know, for the uh, the online Raiden, you know, don't be too predictable to teleport. Um, don't try to be too much at once. Uh, you know, don't be afraid to dash in, use, you know, low threes, low fours, you know, one thing that, uh, you know, I see a lot of rating players not using is the low four. If it is blocked by your opponent, you are, you, you have massive advantage on block. So you can dash in and get a, a pretty safe three, three, four. The only thing that can really stop it are some fast specials, you know, like a, you know, raid you know, in a mirror match, raiding Superman or, or uh, Reptiles, Elbow Dash. But if you're playing an opponent that doesn't have um, a lot of uh, really, really fast specials that can count it, you know, work your down four a lot. And, you know, if it, and on block, it's really safe. You can get in and use um, the 3-3-4 three, three, four, four combo pretty safely. Um, so, you know, be less predictable with your teleports. Um, but at the same time, if your opponent's not respecting your teleport, you know, feel free to use it. If you can teleport and cross over, um, Go for it, but if your if, if your opponent's reading it, just you know, um, be aware that you know you shouldn't be too predictable. Right. I didn't actually know the down four was advantage on block. I knew it was crazy advantage on hit. I know it jails on hit, but uh, I didn't yeah. know it was advantage on block. So uh, learn yeah. something new every day. Yeah, even on block, you can dash in and get the three three four. It's uh, pretty pretty safe to do. Yeah, Raiden's got a pretty meaty down four. Yeah, I, I love that move. It's it's one of my you know. Actually, it's what I it's it, when I do teleport. That's what I like to go into is the down four and on hit. You know, like I said, it gels on a four, but even on block, you can get in and uh, it's pretty safe. Oh, shout out to me stealing that shamelessly from my Raiden. Oh, go for it, man! Go for it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Is there anything you'd like to say to your opponent? Um. Yeah. You know, Fu. Uh, he was making. You know, he's got a good sub zero. He's making good use of the uh, the ice clone and. Um, he, you know, he controlled his game really well the first round, um, in the first match, and he was able to break my combos when they got started, but, you know, due to that, I was able to control the meter game, um, and when, you know, we switched to, to the Raiden match, uh, he made really, really good use of, um, the Ice Clone in the first round, he was able to, you know, I was showing no respect to the Ice Clone, I wanted to see if he was going to trap me with it anyway, so. Yeah, we saw him going for the, uh, where he put up a clone and he'd stand in front of it, which is really the only setup you can use against Raiden as Sub-Zero. Yeah, he was, he was using the Ice Clone to try and stop the teleport, but, you know, I adjusted, and I was, you know, I found other ways around it. Ah. Uh, oh, whoops. It went kind of dead there for a minute. I can hear you, I can hear you fine. Oh, now I can hear you there. Okay. Yeah. Shout us to Skype. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, all right. So before it dies on me again, I'll just say, uh, you know, that was Cali Maestro giving us the breakdown on Raiden. Give us some, some actually pretty good Raiden tech that even I didn't know as a Raiden player myself. So, uh, aspiring Raiden players online, you might want to consider this advice as an alternative to, uh, you know, your routine back 312 teleport, back 312 teleport, Superman back 312 teleport. Yep. So, uh, with that, with that said, we're moving on to the second opener of the cards. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 